welcome 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 back to my channel guys I see you I see your comments I see that you're um, subscribing I see that you're liking and you're also sharing what I also want you to do is hit that notification bell so every time a new video is posted I don't need to tell you because you're going to get that notification so hit that notification bell and for those of you who have not subscribed yet please go ahead and subscribe I appreciate you guys wholeheartedly thank you guys so much all right again my name is Kai Harrison I started teaching in Jamaica that's where I'm from then five years ago I moved to Florida and I've been teaching here since so currently I'm a fourth grade teacher at the Chola Lake Elementary School so last video I promised you that we will be looking at do and does but then I think about it and I said why not include did so we're going to be looking at do does and did how do we use them in a sentence when do we use them why do we use them what are the error we are making um, so today at, at the end of this lesson you will know all the mistakes you're making and you will know when to use do does or did our vocabulary words are basically the same and I bet by now you know that singular comes from the word single meaning one and the plural comes uh, means more than one or two or more a verb a main verb is an action something that we can do however we also have auxiliary verbs those are helpers so they are also called helping verbs some people call them linking verbs but they are auxiliary verbs they help the main verb in helping the sentence to flow smoothly then we talk about past tense if a verb is um, in the past tense it's showing an action that already happened if it's in the present tense then it's showing an action that is happening now now do and does those two are used for present tense so do and does are used to show an action that is happening in the present did is used to show an action that is happening in the past so what is the difference then between do and does do is used when more than one person is doing the action all right so do is plural we use it for two or more or we can say more than one does is singular so we use it when one person is doing the action and then did it's a little tricky but we use did for both singular and plural once it's past tense did is used for both singular and plural so if one person did the action in the past or if many pers um, persons did the action then we're using did all right so let's look at quest sentence one I keep saying question they look nice on you the main word here we need to focus on is they and we all know that they means more than one so we're talking about more than one persons now so right away we can rule out um, does because we're talking about more than one so we take out does we know it cannot be because does is singular only represent one they look nice on you we are talking about the present so we could not go did so we have to choose do they do look nice on you so more than one persons do represents more than one and it's also happening in the present so they do look nice on you let's look at number two it blank look nice on you we're talking about it it represents one singular so remember when it's singular we use does or if it's happening in the past 
we use did. So it blank look nice on you. This is in the present. So it does look nice on you. Number three, blank you like my new watch. That's a question. Blank you like my new watch. Okay, let's talk about you. We met this word yesterday and we learned that it's a tricky word sometimes. Now, when we're using you, we have to use plural. When we're using you, we have to use plural. So remember, do is plural. So even though you refers to one person sometimes, and other times it refers to more than one person's, we always use it with the plural. So, um, blank you look like my new watch. Again, this is in the present, so it could not be did. So it is do. Do you like my new watch? All right. Four. He blank his homework yesterday. Again, one person. So we're representing one person is doing the action here or one person already did the action. So we know that it cannot be do. So it's either does or did. But we need to figure out when did the action happen. So when did he do his homework? Anybody know when he did his homework? I bet you realize he did it yesterday. So yesterday refers to past steps. If he did it in the past, then we have to use did. So he blank his homework yesterday. It happened in the past. So that is did. And remember, did is used if we're referring to one or if we're referring to more than one once it's in the past tense. Now, you know that fact, number five, we're going to do it together. So let's look at five. Kim and Carl blank magic tricks all the time. Kim and Carl blank magic tricks all the time. First of all, we need to figure out who is doing the action or who is the sentence talking about. It's about Kim and Carl. How many persons? Two. Remember, one or um, two or more, or more than one, that's plural. So right away, we can take out does, because we know two persons are acting here, so it's either do or did. But we need to figure out, is the sentence in the past tense, or is it in the present tense? When do they do magic? All the time. So did they do it yesterday but didn't do it today? Or did they do it last week but didn't do it today? Or did they do it last year but they're not doing it this year? No, they do it all the time. So it cannot be past tense. So we have to go with did, do. Kim and Carl do magic tricks all the time. So more than one, Kim and Carl, they do. Six and seven, those are on you. So you're going to look at six and seven and see if you could figure out what your answer should be. Six says, blank, John speak English. That's a question again. So we're asking, blank, John speak English. Are you going to say, do John speak English? Does John speak English or did John speak English? So pay attention. How many persons are we talking about? Is it plural? Is it singular? Is the action happening presently or is it in the past? So you have to focus on those two to know if you're using present tense or if you're using past tense or if you're using singular or plural. Then seven, Meg and Mag blank ballet after school last year. So go ahead, look at that. 
Meg and Mab. Think about how many persons. So is it going to be plural? Is it going to be past tense? Is it going to be singular? Is it going to be present tense? Look, when did the action happen? Go ahead. Choose your answers. Write them down. And I want you to get a pat on your shoulder. So make sure you're selecting the correct answer. Think about how many persons. Think about when the action is happening or when did the action happen? Is it happening now? Is it in the present? Did it happen long ago? Did it happen in the past? Think about that. Ready? Bet you are. Let's go. Blank John speak English. We're only talking about John. We want to know if John speaks English. Now, it's one person. It cannot be do. So it has to be does or probably did. But when are we talking about is the action happening now or is it an action that already happened? Is John still speaking? John still speaks. So it's in the present. So it could not be did. So it is does. Does John speak English? One person. So it's does. Final, Meg and Mag. That's two persons. Once we have two, we know it's either do or did. So we need to figure out when did the action happen or is the action happening now? So let's see. What do they do? They do ballet. When do they do ballet? After school, but it says last year. We all know that last year is already gone, so that's in the past. So it cannot be any of these two because we're looking for past tense. They did ballet last year. So it has to be did. So for a quick recap, remember, do and does are used to represent the present tense, the present action that is happening now or presently. Did is used to represent the past. The difference between do and does, does represent an action that is happening by one person or singular. And do is plural, so two or more. Did is used with either singular or plural. So once it's in the past, it's going to be did. All right? Thank you guys again for watching. Hope to see you soon when another video will be coming on um, auxiliary verbs. Remember, like, share, comment, and don't forget to subscribe and hit your notification bell. Thank you.